The other day after finishing my Nakari campaign, I posted my stats because I was like, whoa, these are quite high. High damage, high movement speed, high basically everything across the board. He's one of the most powerful lords in the game at the moment. But the thing people pointed out most in the comments to that post was his movement speed, 174. 174 is an unusually high speed stat to have, especially when you consider I hadn't been chasing speed for him. I'd been going after ward save and damage and the more useful, more lord hunting skills. But it did get me thinking, what if I focus speed on Nakari? How fast could Nakari go? Ironically, this journey started off very slowly with a list. I had to create a list of all the possible options for increasing his speed so I could work out the total percentages and what would be best. It also helped me remember so I could check down the list before going into the final battle to use his speed just to make sure I'd done it correctly. So after checking my items, fusing them, checking my quest items and making sure I had the best items I had available to me for speed, the items I settled on was the fused armor for 10%, the potion of speed for 25%, the rod of command for 15% and the banner of swiftness for 20%. There were also several skills Nakari has, some that heroes have, and also magic that increase his speed, not to mention unholy manifestations and the like, but I do not want to turn the video into me just reading off 10%, 6%, etc. So instead I'm going to put the list on screen for you, and you can read it yourself, so if you do want to replicate it you can, I don't know why you would want to, this is by no means good, but you can, and we'll move on to the next part of the video. There was a small amount of prepping to do before I could go into the fight. I had most of the um, items, skills, etc. already due to it being a finished campaign, but I'd not leveled a hero to get Locus of Swiftness, for example, due to it not being a skill I'd felt was valuable during the campaign. Luckily for me, all that meant was re-leveling a hero to level 13, which only took about 5 or 10 minutes. Another event I had to wait for was Slanesh becoming the dominant Chaos God, because once this happens, your unholy manifestations double in effectiveness, meaning pain for pleasure would have went from 6 to 12%. I also had to ensure my magic stayed high, and that the battle would be big enough that I could get to tier 3 of my faction's passive for the maximum possible bonus in speed. So once the moon had aligned and I was ready with my leveled heroes, we could enter the battle and hit that perfect speed we'd been working our way towards. What you can currently see is his speed stat, and what you might notice is it's 191, which is pretty fucking fast. But that was actually his speed stat before I applied any actives. Once I did that, it went up further to a total speed of 301. What this means is he's moving at a total increased movement speed of about 200%. It doesn't look like that though, does it? That's because unfortunately, at least from what I can see, I don't know this for a fact, after a certain point, speed doesn't actually apply to your character anymore. It seems that about 200 movement speed, Nakari doesn't actually get any faster. No matter how much I increased it, no matter how far I went, 301 was the highest, but no matter how far up to that I'd got, he never got any quicker in game. His numbers went higher, but his movement didn't increase. My best guess for this is there's a hidden block there to stop animations breaking due to characters moving too quickly. Either way, this was fun to do, so if you'd like to see anything similar replicated in other characters, or a different stat boosted as high as I can fucking get it in Nakari, give me a shout, let me know, and I'll try my best. You may have noticed when his speed hit 301, his damage went up to 1.6k, so there's potentially something there if I was to use the Chain Sword instead of the Sword of Slanesh, but that's for another video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.